Hey guys, <clears throat> I'll make a short video. It's kind of, I don't know, some cool things to do with the, the three days to years of darkness uh, and Jonah. It, dude, it's it's amazing. Um, I was, my mouth dropped. It was amazing. Uh, my wife had a dream the other day, which is awesome. She's only had like, I shouldn't say only. I mean, she's been blessed with to have two dreams, you know, even though it's, some people have had a lot more. <clears throat> I mean, either way, a dream from the Lord is awesome to have. Uh, so I'll talk about that too. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> after I made that video uh, about three days, two years, I'm pretty sure it was my last one. <clears throat> um, you know, let me just state it again because it's been a minute since I have. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out here guys I'm you know none of this is thus saith the Lord none of this is I'm so sure of this sure of that I you know I'm I'm open to you know pretty much pretty much any anything you know I'll hear it out I don't always agree with stuff uh, and neither should you you know because when it comes down to it the fact is none of us know you know we can tell ourselves that we do uh, you know I think that's just arrogance uh, maybe pridefulness because let's be honest, you know, how many of these people who are so sure, and I was one of those people at, at, at a time, I was so sure, right? And I was wrong. Other people have been wrong. Everyone's been wrong. You know, the best thing we can do is just try to continue to put the pieces together. Um, look and watch, you know? So, with that being said, um, okay, so in that last video, I had mentioned that I believe that the three days or years, uh, and I'm not saying that it won't be a, an actual three days uh, of darkness either. <clears throat> uh, you know, there's, you know, with all of scriptures, multiple fulfillments, right? And uh, I've said it before, I call it small P prophecy and capital P prophecy. Uh, and so anyways, this three years, right, of this dark winter, <laughs> I just saw another article the other day that Biden just talked about a dark winter again. Again. Oh, actually, this was amazing. The first time he brought... No, I'll get to it. I'll get to it later. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm excited. This was amazing. Uh, at least I thought it was. So, I, I had thought that, you know, possibly March 11th, 2020 was the start of the quote-unquote dark winter, right? And, you know, we're coming into the third day. Now, there's been lots of... I don't know if I talked about this in my last video or not, so forgive me if I if this is, you know, a refresher course, if you will. But, uh... The three days... No, nope, that's not what I wanted to say, Lord. What was, where was I going? Ah, yes. Okay, so the... Thank you, Lord. The, there's been a lot of... Yeah, I might have talked about this. There's been a lot of prophets or people who have heard from the Lord, uh, whether they declare themselves a prophet or not. You know, I'll leave that up to you. You go search them out and find it for yourself. You decide... You know, you search the scripture, compare it to their word, go to God about it, go to the Lord and, and see what he has to tell you. But um, about the transformation happening um, at the end of the second day or during the second day, going into the third day kind of thing, you know, um, second to third day. And <laughs> which, is, which is amazing. All right. Second to third day, right? And I had thought that the start was March 11th. All right, so March we're, we're so this March 11th, 2022, will be entering into the third day. All right, 2020 to 2021, 21 to 22 is two days, 22 to 23 is three days. The day of the Lord is a year that puts us into 2024, and. <clears throat> 
And then if you, <laughs> it was amazing. And then if you add, you know, three and a half years, roughly, and it goes by, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go by actual dates, it goes by feast dates that are within that time frame of the event. Um, you know, Leland Jones has a, has a really good teachings on that. Um, which I tend to agree with the majority of what he says. Some of it, I don't, but um, all good, right? I, you know, I don't expect anyone to agree with me 100%. You shouldn't, you know what I mean? It's, you know, you should have your own ideas. Um, anyways, so... <clears throat> Uh, December 14th, 2020. We all know what happened that day. Called V Day. Um, and you count three and a half years from there, that puts you at Pentecost 2024 ish. Um, or you could go to when they, and this is, this is where I made it, the discovery, you know? Um, <sighs> unreal. And I didn't even get to the best part yet. Oh, man, I'm excited. I wanted to do this yesterday, but I just I took the time to think about it. <clears throat> so, uh, the 14th, right, of the 12th month, of our 12th month, December, uh, was V-Day initially, right? But we all know they were going through trials at that point. But when they opened it up, now here's, here's when Biden gave an address about um, opening, opening up mass, um, jabs for all adults, uh, (laughs) March 11th, 2021, exactly one year later, he gave an address by, you know, by May 1st, everyone has to yada, yada. Uh, most states have already opened them up. Uh, the state I'm in Michigan already opened it up at that point. They were going to be fully open by, uh, April 1st, uh, but had already been like 90% open. So, they, I mean, it already started at that point, but March 11th was the date of the address, making it public, right? Making it known. <clears throat> Something else, well, no, I won't get into that. So, if you go from that date, yeah, roughly three and a half years, that brings you to the fall time frame, 2024. Um, you know, Feast of Trumpets around that area, the Fall Feasts, uh, which is, I mean, both those are amazing in itself, right? Bringing you to those time periods uh, for fulfillment of Scripture to, to occur, you know? So, if you, all right, so this is, this is I saw a video, um, and forgive me, brother, if you're watching this, I don't, I don't know if you ever will or not, uh, He's got two. He's got two channels. One of them's Glory Day. Oh, and I forget the other one. Forgive me, but he had just brought up this a couple days ago. Just brought up again the sign of Jonah, and that being what happened uh, to the man in I think it was off New Zealand, maybe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm sure you guys remember the guy who was swallowed by or not swallowed, but, you know, he was stuck in the mouth of a whale for 30 seconds, three days, you know, three, 30, um, which is pretty incredible, right? <clears throat> but here's, here, here's where it gets crazy. This is so amazing to me. So that happened, um, well, I, I, uh, doesn't matter when it happened. When it was reported and made and, and made known to the world, right? June eleventh, June eleventh, twenty twenty one. Okay. Now we know from the story of Jonah. Jonah was in Nineveh for forty days preaching repentance. That's right, repentance. I'm not going to argue about what repentance means, uh, but that's what he was preaching. Okay. So obviously, it's been way past forty days. However, if we go, if we go 40 weeks, 40 weeks of repentance, preaching repentance, 40 weeks from that sign, you know what day it lands on? That's right. March 11th, 2022, the start of the third day. How amazing is that? Anyone like, did your jaw just drop? 
like-minded. Oh, man. Dude, crazy. That is... Wild. Man. You know, and someone should, I guess, fact check me on that. Because I didn't go to time and date calculator. I just, you know, there's 52 weeks in a year. June 11th, minus 12 weeks. I counted it back on the calculator, or on the calendar, uh, March 11th, you know. So it should end up being March 11th. But anyways, <clears throat> and the Lord spoke to me. Um, this was in early February of... 2020, early February of 20, oh shoot, 2021, February of 2021, Lord spoke to me, he gave me three separate words, um, or series of words, sentences, right, oh, no way, I wonder if all of them are related, I'll have to look it up, so one of them being, um, Oh, shoot. What's the name? What's the other name? Reagan. So I had the word Purim. He gave me the word Purim. Ronald Reagan, Fitzgerald. Well, Ronald Reagan and Fitzgerald. And then he said, you know how much they like their anniversaries. Now, that's... uh, That is what he told me. I heard that very clearly. And that was one of the first times I ever heard from the Lord. Um, Now, so if we go back and we check out when Purim was, and we go back to the, and we go to this year, and when Purim is, Purim is March, March 10th for the most part. I mean, sundown March 9th uh, into March 10th. March 10th. You guys, March 10th. The day before the start of the third... Oh, man. Dude, amazing. Now, the story of Purim... Um, I'll try to find a really good... I've watched two different people teach about Purim and, and Esther. And um, it... I mean, it's a, it's an amazing uh, mirror, basically. Um, to, to future events, right? And a transformation happening. You know, Esther's the bride. And man, amazing. It's truly amazing. So, and then Ronald Reagan and Fitzgerald, I had no idea what, what that meant. I mean, I knew Ronald Reagan was a president. Fitzgerald, I thought, you know, might be like some sort of Polish sausage or something. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I didn't know. Uh, <coughs> Polish sausage. Where did I get that from? So... I had uh, looked up Ronald Reagan and Fitzgerald, right? And um, they are, whoa, wow. So, wow. Oh, thank you, Lord. He brought this back to me, man. I haven't thought about this in a minute. So Ronald Reagan and Fitzgerald are two um, military ships large, I don't know what type of ship exactly, I forget, so for all the military guys out there, sorry, Um, but I I believe they're carrier ships, that could be wrong, but either way, they're ships, right, and Ronald Reagan and Fitzgerald, because I was also given the word that they love their anniversaries, right, so I was like, well, what, what anniversary is coming up, come to find out that back then in 2021, so in 2011, March 2011, right around Purim, um, is when the Japan tsunami happened. Ronald Reagan and Fitzgerald were then sent out to assist with that tsunami. Uh, this is incredible because of what's happening right now, what just happened, what we've been looking at and anticipating happening, what God has been telling people about this wave coming. Now, whether that's a spiritual wave or a physical wave, uh, doesn't matter. I, th- I think it all has to do with Pearl. Man. Wow, thank you, amen. This is amazing. I'm so excited for Purim. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, that means we have another, you know, month or so. You know, things are definitely gonna, oh man, it's just gonna continue to heat up. 
what's going on with you know the the bear you know i hope you follow my drift there um and the dragon i don't know what to call the eye country in the middle east there you know uh but i'm doing i mean things are popping off right nato i mean it's been a complete failure with nato they have uh till tomorrow wednesday the 19th wow wednesday the 19th the day heinz ketchup number 57 yeah that's right i'm gonna call it heinz ketchup from now on number 57 heinz ketchup uh that brother was over at glory day said uh he called it 57 he's like you know five and then substitute the seven for the letter and i was like oh nice that's okay and then 57 instantly reminded me of ketchup and heinz ketchup so now it is now called heinz ketchup number 57 <laughs> anyways so that I, that gets activated the heinz ketchup goes live on the 19th nato has until the 19th to respond to the bear Man, it all has to do with Perm. I really think so. I think it's going to build up. It's going to start in the middle. You know, man, this tsunami. I don't know. I don't know. I'm jazzed up, though. I'll tell you that. I can't, be- I can't believe the revelation that the Lord brought me. That like That's just truly amazing to me. Uh, how he works. And the things that I'm searching out and just that, that end up coming over to me. Just amazing. It's amazing. So anyways, as far as that goes, that's all I got. Uh, maybe I'll, you know, I'll make a separate video and I'll talk about uh, both of my wife's dreams uh, the best way I can. She described them to me. So I'll try to um, describe them to you. One was a couple months ago and then one was just um, last Friday, Thursday, Friday somewhere in there so all right till then take care guys god bless you uh you remember getting the word you know see you know, spend time with god if you can't if you can't sit down and read spend time with god you know you can do that anywhere anywhere at all uh you know ask him to come speak to you to be with you just talk to him like you're having a conversation you know i think people look at that's why i walk around with headphones in nowadays uh because people tend to think that i'm loony <laughs> You know, because I'm just talking. You know, who is he talking to? So, uh, you know, have a conversation with him, man. He, all he wants is a relationship. That's it. You know, to seek the Lord first above all, above all else. All right? All right, guys. Take care. God bless you.